Okay, boys and girls, as you can see, my paper is horizontal, okay? And I have my pencil ready to go. And we are going to be drawing a red-eyed tree frog, okay? And we're gonna go step by step. If you need some more time to draw various parts of the red-eyed tree frog, just pause the video, finish your drawing, or make any corrections, and then continue going. Let's have some fun. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna probably draw it right in the middle of your paper. So what we're gonna draw is two circles. Okay, so I'm gonna do it right about here. And since frogs have big eyes, I really wanna make sure that we make big eyes. So we have one circle there, and we're gonna have another circle over here. Okay? Does it need to be perfect? No, it doesn't. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw the inside of the eyes. And how you do that is you kind of just put like a backward C and then another backward C so it kind of looks like that. Almost like in the shape of an almond. And do the same thing over here. Okay, then you are going to take your pencil and put it right around here. And you're gonna kind of go up above the eye. And then you're gonna go over here and you're gonna go up above the eye like that. Then you're gonna take your pencil and go down a bit and then make this go down a bit, and then you're gonna connect them. Okay, then you are going to add two little dots right about here, and you're gonna fill them in. Make them more oval shaped, okay? like that. Those are the nostrils, okay? Now, you're gonna start kind of in the middle of the eye, on the bottom, or actually let's do it to the side a little bit, and you're going to go out like that, and then you're gonna do the same thing on this time, this the outside of this eye, and you're gonna kind of go out like that. Then, you're gonna curve, you're gonna do a curved corner like that, and then do a curved corner like that. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, remember, you have your eraser, and you can erase it to make it more similar, okay? And then you're going to make the line go up a little, up a little, And then you're gonna go down a little, down a little. And then you're going to connect it like that. Then you're going to add a curve right about here, just like that, a curve. Then you're gonna make a bigger curve underneath it, right around here. Okay, you can go over it if you want. Okay, a bigger curve. Then you are going to take your pencil and go right about here in the middle of the cheek and you're gonna kinda go up a little, like that. And then you're going to curve, curve it like that. And then 
you're going to make a line like that. And then you're going to make the line go down. And you're gonna have this line go down with it. I'm actually going to make it a little bit of a smaller curve, more like that. Then I'm gonna make these two lines kind of go down a little bit more. And then I'm gonna kind of do the same thing on the other side where I kind of take my line and go down like that and then go take this line over here and go like that and those are its what? Yep, its arms, okay? Then you need your other legs because they have four, the front ones and the back ones and you're just gonna make two lines going out like that and then this one's gonna be a little bit curved. So you're gonna make kind of like a backwards L. Okay, a backwards L. And then when you need to add some of the toes, and they have three toes, so we just put three circles Kind of below, you're gonna add the fingers in a second, but just put three circles. And then now we're going to connect these to make the fingers to the arms. And you're gonna just put it like this, aligned here, and then make it a V in line there and then make it a V and line there and a line there to connect your hands, your fingers to the hand. And then you'll do the same thing here. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Oopsie, even I made a mistake here because it needs to go more like this. Okay. And then once we're done with having it in pencil, you're gonna take it and trace with black Sharpie, okay? And I will show you how to do that. Watch first and then you can do it. Okay, now we need to add the tree that it's on. So I'm gonna put the branch right here and then put it going out over here. And then the same thing, um, I'm gonna put the branch going out over here and then have the branch going here, all the way across, it's on the branch. And then you're going to take your pen and trace the branch lines and we will add color to it and make it look more authentic like a tree branch after we add color to our tree frog, okay? Boys and girls, you can use crayons, um, markers, any kind of markers, or even colored pencils. Because I wanna make it super bright and vivid and lifelike, I'm gonna use markers. So the first thing I'm gonna color um, is the red eyes. But before I do that, I just realized I need to color the pupils black with my marker. So do that. And then you're gonna color around the pupil red because it's your red-eyed tree frog, okay? 
This is like the most important part of your red-eyed tree frog. Then you're going to add yellow to the belly because a red-eyed tree frog has a yellow belly. So I'm just going to take my marker and fill in this area right here that is underneath the face with my yellow marker, okay? And I'm going the same direction, except for right there. And then once I've filled this whole belly area with yellow, the next part that I want to do is the hands. So I'm, not, I'm only gonna do the hands, so I'm gonna draw a little line there, little line there, little line there, little line there, and then I'm just gonna fill in the hands and the fingertips with yellow, okay? And then, once I've added the yellow color to the hands and the fingers or toes, not the toe, not the fingers, the toes, yeah, toes. Okay, make sure that's all filled in. Then the last color I'm gonna do is the green. And you can fill the, fill the head in and try to go the same direction. Okay, really take your time with this. If you need to pause the video at any point to kind of catch up, you can do that at any point. You can rewind, watch different parts over till you have your completed directed draw. I try to do smaller strokes when I want it to make sure to go the same direction and if I'm going around small parts of my picture. So I'm using the thinner side, but I'm going same direction. Then I can flip it over and cover more with the flat part, but I'm still going in the same direction. These are scented markers, but you could be using any kind of markers and go ahead and continue to fill in your frog. You'll stop at the, hand, the yellow. You don't wanna cover the yellow. And then you don't forget that back leg. But stop at the yellow, the trademark yellow hands and belly. And the last one, the legs are sticking to that branch. Fix this area here. And there we go right there. Okay, so there is our red-eyed tree frog. Now we need to add some stripes or something onto our branch to make it look realistic. You can make any kind of markings to make it look realistic. You can use different colors, you can use browns, I think I'm gonna use different colors because it's found in a rainforest anyway and it's very colorful in the rainforest so you might wanna think about that. But by all means, you can make your branch look however you want. And I'm gonna add some different colors. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna color it in, in solid but you, could color it in solid if you wanted to. You could color it different. You can color it multicolored, just as long as it looks a little bit different than your tree frog. But I'm using shades of green, a dark and a light. And I'm trying to make, fill in all the spots that I can. 
and then I might add a little bit of brown, maybe towards the outside. Maybe every once in a while I'll put some brown. Make it really colorful. And there you have it. A red-eyed tree frog on a branch of a tree. Now, of course, you can add to your background. You can use, I think if I were to choose, I would do a different texture. So I would like to do a light colored blue sky in the background. So I might do, take my color crayon. And remember, when you do a background, you definitely wanna go in the same direction the whole time, okay? And you just fill in, I like doing crayon for a background because it covers a lot of area pretty quickly and it looks really nice and you can layer it with multicolors. I know in um, my classes before, they love to do ombre, which means to add shades of different colors, like shades of blue, shades of purple, shades of pink. And with the sky, as you know, it could be different colors. So you can add layers of different colors on top of this to make it really super vibrant and alive. Because in the rainforest, it's beautiful. So you can make it however you want. And this could be the background below. And I'm just going in the same direction the whole time, always horizontal. And then you can add a, I'm gonna add a little bit of turquoise in there too. Kind of make it a little bit brighter. I think that would be fun, but you can do whatever you want. You could use, Watercolors again, if you want, but make sure if you use watercolors, your black outline should be used, should be um, done in crayon if you're gonna use watercolors. If not, you can use color pencil, you can use marker, whatever you want. Just make it colorful and have fun with it, boys and girls. And there you have it.